If you are a dog owner, you surely want your pup to be happy, healthy, and live a long, fulfilling life. But sometimes, we do things that can harm our furry friends. In this video, we will talk about 11 things you didn't realize are killing your dog. Heartworms Believe it or not, dogs can get foot-long worms in their hearts. Heartworm disease is a serious disease that results in heart failure, organ damages, and death in pets. The worms enter the body through the bite of a mosquito. As the infection spreads in the animal, infective larvae from the mosquito begin to mature into adult heartworms within the heart. From there, they can spread to blood vessels and lungs. This process happens over the span of six to seven months, and fully grown worms can live for five to seven years in dogs. What's even scarier is that heartworms will mate and produce offspring. At one time, a dog may have as many as 300 worms living inside them. This sounds like a death sentence, but when the disease is caught early and treated with heartworm medicine, your pet can go on to live a long, healthy life. Always watch out for warning symptoms of heartworms. A persistent, dry cough is a common sign seen in dogs with heartworm disease. If your canine is tired after mild activity or is reluctant to exercise, this could be a signal an unwanted visitor is living inside their heart. Other symptoms include weight loss and a loss of appetite. When you go to the vet, they use blood tests to check a dog for heartworms. A blood test detects possible proteins, which are released by heartworms into the dog's bloodstream. Keep in mind that the best way to treat heartworms is by preventing them. There are many products to prevent heartworms in dogs. Make sure to discuss the options with your vet. Remember, all dogs should be tested annually for heartworm infection. Giving your dog human foods Most people give their dogs human food thinking they are being caring. But many human foods are toxic to dogs. Xylitol, for example, is an artificial sweetener found in many sugar-free products. It is extremely poisonous to dogs and can be found in many products such as candies, chewing gums, baked goods, protein bars, toothpaste, and some peanut butters. Even small amounts of xylitol can cause low blood sugar levels, seizures, liver failure, or even death in dogs. Onion and garlic are also toxic to dogs. Humans may love the flavors of garlic and onion to spice up their food, but sharing foods that contain these ingredients with your pet can cause serious health problems. In severe cases, it could even kill your dog. And if you share your food with your dog, make sure it doesn't contain harmful ingredients such as chocolate, raisins, or nuts. These products are known to be extremely toxic to dogs. Grapes and avocados are also a big no-no for your canine. Many dogs sadly have died of kidney failure after eating just a few raisins and grapes. Keep in mind that most times the foods we eat are too fatty, too spicy, or too salty for our canines. A medium dog weighing 33 pounds only needs 200 milligrams of sodium per day. And if you offer your canine meat, make sure it is well cooked. Most vets ward against raw meat, raw chicken, and raw fish from the grocery store because of the risk of salmonella or other bacterial contamination. Cooking to a safe temperature kills off those harmful bacteria as well as any possible viruses. And remember that over-the-counter medications such as ibuprofen can be extremely dangerous to your pet. Yanking on leash or using a choke collar Pulling on a leash may occasionally be necessary to stop your dog from running into danger, but regularly yanking on their leash can result in a neck fracture. Never yank a dog's leash for discipline. Canines have a hyoid bone near the base of their tongue that can be fractured. These fractures can cause a multitude of health problems. Reports show an average of 26,000 dogs every year are injured in a collar-related accident. In fact, high rates of thyroid issues have been observed in large dogs that frequently pull on the leash. Using a choke collar, which constricts when the dog pulls away, is also dangerous. The use of choke collars has been associated with fainting, whiplash, spinal cord injuries leading to paralysis, brain damage, and other injuries. Using these collars can increase fear and aggression in dogs. It also takes away a fun, bonding experience for you and your pet. Common Household Items Believe it or not, many edible and non-edible dangers for your pet may exist in or around your home. Insecticides such as bug sprays and ant baits can be as dangerous for your pet as they are to the insects. Some plants or flowers are also toxic to dogs. 
You'd think your dog would be smart enough not to eat your floral arrangement, but vets see plenty of these cases every year. Among the most toxic plants are ivy, lilies, chrysanthemums, tomato plants, and tulips. Likewise, balls and other playtime pieces that are too small for your dog's size can be a choking hazard. Toys with small parts that are unsafe for young children are also obviously hazardous for dogs. Make sure to make your home a safe place for your pet. Poor diet If your dog is not eating proper food, it can be life-threatening. There are many poor quality dog foods in the pet stores that your animal should stay away from. And keep in mind, there is no one feeding schedule for dogs. How much and how often your dog should eat depends on various factors such as the dog's age, activity levels, type of food, and health. For the first few months of a puppy's life, they will need small meals of food throughout the day. This makes it easier for them to digest and helps keep energy levels consistent. Starting around four months, puppies can begin eating about three times a day, and after that, puppies will quickly graduate to twice-a-day feedings. Most vets recommend feeding an adult dog at least twice per day. However, more important than feeding frequency is meal portion size. It's important to remember that food is not love and canine obesity is on the rise. Studies have shown that overweight dogs live two and a half years less than dogs with a healthy body weight. Lack of exercise Every dog needs regular exercise to help maintain good mental and physical health. Dogs who don't exercise are at a higher risk for stiff limbs and joints. They are also more likely to develop health issues a dog who exercises will have a prolonged lifespan. Exercise also helps reduce or eliminate common behavioral problems and helps them maintain a healthy weight. But keep in mind that short-nosed breeds like pugs and bulldogs have respiratory issues and are not capable of running long distances. Pushing them too hard or exercising in the extreme heat can be taxing on the animal's body. And for older dogs, they are better off resting or going on shorter excursions more often rarely visiting a vet. We know that taking your dog to the vet is a pain, not to mention expensive, but regular checkups are also important for your fur baby's health. The vet can identify issues you might not even be aware of. Plus, they'll make sure your dog's weight is in check and their teeth are in good health. You also want to make sure that your pet gets all their vaccinations. Not getting them vaccinated will leave them vulnerable to many diseases and viruses. Giving your dog bones Bones are a good source of nutrients and other minerals and help satisfy your dog's appetite. Chewing stimulates saliva enzymes, helps treat plaque buildup on teeth, and prevents gum disease in your dog. However, many vets believe it just isn't worth the risk of serious injuries to give your dog a bone. Giving dogs a real bone could be deadly. The bone could shatter and puncture their esophagus, stomach, or intestines. Your dog could even break a tooth, get a tongue or mouth injury or have an obstruction that could require surgery. If you'd like to give your pup a bone to chew, it's important to follow certain rules so your dog can enjoy their bones safely. First of all, avoid giving your pup cooked bones of any kind, as they can break and splinter into tiny sharp pieces that can cut your dog's mouth, throat, or digestive organs. Secondly, make sure to give your dog bones that are longer than the length of their muzzle. This will make it impossible for your dog to swallow or splinter them into small sharp pieces. Leaving a dog alone in a car Never, ever leave your dog alone in an enclosed car. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the temperature inside a vehicle can go up by 20 degrees in under 10 minutes, even if a car is parked in the shade. When it's 90 degrees out, just 10 minutes in a car can be fatal to a dog. Dogs don't sweat like humans, and they overheat much faster than you think. They lack the ability to cool themselves off efficiently, and the consequences of keeping your pup in an enclosed vehicle can be fatal. Using Harsh Cleaning Products Many cleaning products used in our homes are toxic to dogs. Even if your dog isn't directly exposed to these products, they can run over a floor that has been mopped and then lick their paws and ingest those toxins. Always check the label. Any product that contains bleach or ammonia is hazardous to animals. Instead, scrub with things like baking soda or salt that leave no toxic residue. Air fresheners containing phthalates or fragrance can also be dangerous if inhaled or used near pets. You don't take care of your pet's teeth. Like humans, dogs need regular dental care. Their teeth are home to hundreds of bacteria and need to be brushed just like yours do. Sounds a little weird, right? 
Well, not if you are a responsible pet owner. Giving your canine a careful toothbrush will prevent tooth loss, gum disease, and bad breath. Make sure to start doing it as soon as you get your dog so that they get used to having their teeth brushed. For most dogs, once brushing becomes a part of their daily routine, they will begin to enjoy and expect it. Brushing three times a week is the minimum recommendation to help remove plaque and prevent tartar accumulation. On top of brushing their teeth, there are other solutions. You can use tooth wipes, which are rubbed against your dog's teeth to get rid of plaque. You can also give them dental treats.